What's going on today guys, Massive Nerd here, and today we'll be looking to the story of Chad Focus. And this man might be the biggest fraud in the music industry, and that is not hyperbole. I know what you guys are thinking, this guy looks suspiciously like a cartoon villain. Like a cross between Flexo and Dastardly Whiplash. I found out about this through this Vice TV video called, Want to be famous? You just need a Spotify bot. So that is where the story begins, and we'll dive in deeper from there. These artists are on these streaming forums, they are on these streaming platforms. Even from a guy like a J. Cole, that say how many artists got streams from these bots, they not as hot as they seem. Well, J. Cole is a part of that system as well, and he don't even know it. Pretty much all major labels do use some form of uh, Spotify farming, botting, etc. In the last couple of years, Spotify has caught major label artists and independent companies alike trying to use bots to generate millions of fake streams. So this is something that definitely happens in the underground as well as major with major labels. Everyone in the hood has a hot verse, but the chances of making it big are slim to none. Interesting outfit there on the right. Looks like he's wearing that sweater as an apron. Chad's a computer genius who went from a total unknown to a chart-topping artist in just a few months' time with the help of a cheat code known as bots. Let's see. Let me look up something really quickly here. It'd be funny if his page was taken down. Oh my god, wait, where is he? Wait, where is he, dude? Wait, shut up. <laughs> Wait, Spotify, Spotify link, let's see. Zero monthly listeners, what? Interesting, I mean, it looks like he's right. Dance With Me was number 35 on the US club charts. So it does It does seem like something may have worked. I don't know how he did it. Wait, hold on. Dude, this story gets deeper and deeper. Hold on a second here. Let's look at how many streams this guy has. Yeah, this is some pretty obvious botting here. Uh, 2,900 followers. Then we got a song here with 4 million plays and 2,000 likes. <sighs> And then we got a bunch of other songs with 200 plays, 200 plays. Now I'm not saying you can't have a song that pops off and have songs that don't pop off, but there should be some residual coming in from this 4 million here, you know? Whether it's the songs before, whether it's the ones after. This song after it has 101,000 plays, 28 likes. Only 28 likes, man. I mean, it's okay. It's not something I would enjoy. So that's weird. The original has 101,000 plays, 28 likes, and the remix has T-Pain, I don't know who Rails is, 4 million plays, 2,000 likes. You know, there's something off here. I mean, if I had to guess, maybe he paid for a T-Pain feature. I don't know what the exact deal is here. That's just a theory. I guess what I'm saying here when I, by mentioning the plays and the likes is that like ratio versus the amount of plays, pretty far off. I mean, 1,000 likes and 600,000 plays, that's not too bad, but um, 4 million plays, 2,000 likes, yeah, that's pretty terrible. I know what you guys are probably saying. You're probably thinking like, dude, he's already admitted to botting. What are you, what are you doing? I guess what I'm saying is it's pretty obvious. It was pretty, it's pretty obvious without him even admitting to it. I will say this, I don't think he's much of a tech genius because if, if he was more of a tech genius, he probably would have realized that uh, these numbers don't really add up. Let's scroll down a little bit more to see what's going on here. Are, do we have any other random ones that are just like 5 million plays? Oh wait, no, we got one here. Dude, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut up. 19 million plays. 200 likes and then he just gave up one day and started uploading them with 200 plays etc so yeah we're supposed to believe that dude 25 million plays on his first song ever 500 likes only 25 million i don't know this video may turn out to be a lot deeper than i thought it was gonna be i thought we were just gonna react to that video and i feel like we're digging we're getting really deep here okay this random song is 4 million plays let's look let's look into that a little bit deeper someone wrote hip-hop in the comments and he pinned that for some reason so there's like some other information about him it seems like that was left out okay let's hear this money real quick i mean money fuck Let's get to this money real quick. Came from nothing, give me my respect. I'm all about a bag. Got me thumbing through a trick. Hey, 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 hey. like a star. Yeah, it's pretty mid. Rap artist Chad Focus sentenced to more than two years in federal prison for wire fraud conspiracy. Rap artist spent more than $4 million on employer's credit card to promote his music. So he had to do 30 months in federal prison. I like how they left that out of the video, out of the Vice video, conveniently. So he had to pay back the $4 million. So he was working as a search engine optimization specialist from 2011 to 2018. And from 2015 to 2018, they were using the credit card for fraudulent purchases, including to promote his hip-hop artist alter ego Chad Focus. I'm assuming that is probably how he got that T-Pain feature, but maybe I'm wrong. He purchased likes, followers, tags, and views across social media and viewing platforms. What's going on, guys? Welcome to my home. And $4 million and they can't afford a decent mic? Okay, let's get back to what we were originally looking at here. I 
I said, life is big. Everywhere they go, you know they know the kid. I've been up, I've been down, but I never snitched. You know what it is. Yeah. Maybe not the worst verse ever, but it was bad. It was bad. And so I went and I took a completely different angle. I tried to master IT. I tried to master technology. I mean, he really didn't master uh, getting the like and view ratio down there. So I could empower my people and make sure I could give them back ownership. You know, there's different ways to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, enforce your will. So what were some of the ways that you began to do that? Uh, credit card fraud. I'm Chad Focus, and I focus on credit card fraud. Today's world, everybody's using a streaming phone. Streaming phone, man, there's a bunch of different cell phones that sign up to Spotify. They play your record over and over again. You get streams, you get paid. When did he start using a streaming farm? Because according to the indictment we just read, uh, he was buying views and likes. We were able to chart on Billboard. We were able to chart on Spotify. The bizarre and enormous Times Square billboard for Chad Focus, number one artist in the world. I kind of wonder if he was banned from Spotify now. I kind of feel like botting streams, though, will mess with algorithm. That's my theory, at least. These artists are on these streaming forums. They are on these streaming platforms, even from a guy like a J. Cole. J. Cole, you have 24 hours to respond. I heard you used to put on a lot of concerts, man. Yeah. Tell me about the one with you and Lil Baby. All right, so cool, man. Uh, summer 2018, you know, I was contacted by, you know, a couple of different promoter kids that I knew from the city. And they had been watching the movement, man. Like I said, I had just charted on Billboard. I had a big song with Dance With Me. And I was making money, Mike. I was doing well, bro. So they asked me to one, sponsor the concert, then also be a part of the concert. Chad Focus, Money Bag Yo, Lil Baby concert. So he got Lil Baby, Money Bag Yo together for a concert. He bought all the tickets and then he was reselling them. So this is like the shadiest shit ever. He, he throws the concert, buys the tickets, sells them at a higher price to people that want to go. Purchase these tickets at six minute intervals. And I need to do this shit when everybody is asleep. Even the promoters was running around here talking about, yo, we sold out, they bragging. They didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> now and I'm sitting on actual tickets, man. I can relist them on Ticketmaster. Or I can relist them on another website we call StubHub. I think it's crazy that he's just like confessing to all of this. Buy it low and flip it high. I resold them tickets yo, for half a million dollars. So that's called scalping, bro. And I messed that shit by just watching the game. We watch what a live nation does. We watch how they can sell out a Metallica, a Jay-Z, a Kanye West concert, all right? Members of Congress demand an investigation into live nation. Ticketmaster's been secretly cheating you with its own scalpers. I didn't know about that. President Obama signs better online ticket sales bots act of 2016. Is this real? That's real. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I can't believe that's real. All right. That just sounds like a parody or something, right? I think we may have found the biggest fraud in the music industry here, guys. They shouldn't have even done this video with this man, man. He probably somehow defrauded them doing this video. This guy just walks around committing fraud everywhere he goes. You no, know, people act like I'm the fucking godfather of the bots. They act like I'm the, the guy that created this shit. You know, I'm just the one that optimized it and figured out how to do it better than the guys that did create it. Ain't doing it that well, dude. Ratios are way off, man. Okay, so I think my takeaway here is this guy is the biggest fraud of all time. Holy shit. For everyone who likes this video, I will defraud you out of uh, $4 million. So make sure to hit the like button on that video. Hmm? I was gonna say, if you made it to the end of the video, comment ratio down below, but I don't want people to think that we're like being attacked by people trying to say ratio. <laughs> made it to the end of the video, comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Incorporated.